girls hockey is growing. I think that it could potentially reach the level of boys hockey. But I feel like it would need like a lot more like, um, like media attention and stuff like that. But I think it can get there. Hi, I'm Callie Lane for CBC Kids News. The state of women's hockey in Canada is in an uncertain place. The collapse of the CWHL has left a void for professional players. What are the options for young female players hope to continue past amateur level? What is your opinion on the state of women's hockey in Canada? Um, I think that it is like, it is growing, but it is like not that good as of right now because there isn't any like professional leagues that we can have and that like the leagues got taken away. What are your thoughts on the collapse of the CWHL? You know what, when it first, when I first saw that it collapsed last year, my heart broke because I had, I had taken the year off, I wasn't playing and my teammates were all still playing, some of my best friends were still playing and I was like, what is going to happen, where are they going to go, where are they going to play? How do you feel about the PWHPA, the boycott, and the GAF tour? Yeah, I 100% support it. Um, that's a lot of some of my best friends are, you know, they're doing it, and those little girls that are going to benefit from the stance that they're taking, and you know, it might be a sacrifice for them right now, not having a league to play in, and you know, not being paid to play right now. But if that turns into a league with women can go and they don't have to work a part-time job. They don't have to, you know, practice at nine o'clock at night so that they can make their full-time jobs work and they can just play hockey and make an income off it. And that would be more than enough. And that is what the coolest feeling to see that what they're standing for. I think it was really good exposure to like the female game and that they did do it like in the middle of like the NHL skills competition and that it could show to like all of the people watching that like females can play hockey and that they're good at it and that they should get more of an opportunity. Oh I thought that was amazing and like I said it all comes down to exposure and people can't be what they can't see and so everybody watches the NHL All-Star game. It turns so many heads and people are like oh my goodness the women can actually play, they're, they're great, they're talented, they're all-stars. And it just kind of keeps, you know, pushing the game, growing the game, and to have that NHL backing is huge. Do you think the NHL should start a professional women's league? Yeah, I do think they should because, um, like I said before, it will give females an end goal that they can do, that they can end up and motivating themselves and to get to it, and that'd be really good for like young girls to not quit hockey when they're younger if there's no end goal. With the Dream Gap Tour and NHL All Star Showcase sparking major interest in female hockey. There are still no concrete plans in whether we're going to make a professional women's league. Will the NHL step up and create one? Will major sponsors have its back of this creation? We don't know, as the future for women's hockey is still uncertain. I'm Callie Lane for CBC Kids News.